Hello everyone! My name is Beth and welcome back to my Dragon Age Inquisition Let's Play series. Today we're starting our Emerald Grave Adventures! The Emerald Grave is don't really have any major story points, but there are a bunch of side quests to get finished and meet a man who may or may not be helpful. I'm never really sure what the role of Fairbanks is, but he does have some quests so we will do them. Uh, we're going to check the war table first, of course, and then I do want to have a chat with Cullen before we go. I feel like I kind of forgot about him in amongst all of our side quests and adventures. So, just because it's been a while, and I'm in Josephine's room because I noticed she has a guest, and I'm hoping that they have a little bit of chat, but... Inquisitor. Okay, that is the opposite of what I wanted from you guys. Disappointing. Oh, Josephine. We should talk to her. We have an interesting development, Inquisitor. A petition from citizens of Val Royale. They wish to know what Andraste said to you in the Fane. They think she spoke to me. Even Leliana can't trace the rumor's origin. It may be expedient to respond to those asking for Andraste's words. It's not Andraste who saved me. Few people outside Skyhold know it was Divine Justinia who delivered you from the Fade. You could attempt to tell Valroyo citizens the truth, though it may not be as inspiring as they hope. Um... Let's just do something generic about love. Tell these petitioners Andraste said she cares for us, always, as she walks by the Maker's side. A fine sentiment. We will have it proclaimed in Val Royal. It's good to see you. How do you stay so civil with everyone, Josephine? Bonds of circumstance among the nobility are fickle. Civility is the only constant everyone admires. And I do deplore rudeness in those who know better. Does it even become a strain sometimes? Well, it can be trying. There is no shortage of self-regard among the nobility. The game can be wearying, discouraging, and extremely baneful. But honestly, I'd miss meeting people. I've made the most fascinating friends. One good thing about becoming Inquisitor has been meeting so many different people. I'm pleased. I imagine we appear a strange bunch to those outside our circle. Mages, Templars, Seekers, and an apostate elf are not often found working in harmony. Or at all. Let's speak later. Another time. Alright, what's finished? Okay. The order was sent? This morning. More details? No? Just okay. So, find the source of the Dark Spawn attacks. Sister Liliana's advice was excellent. Her scouts located a mining operation Marquis Buffon has started in secret, which must have freed the Mark the Dark Spawn from beneath the earth. When discovered, the Marquis sent mercenaries to attack, but the Grey Wardens were well prepared and easily cut down all resistance. Marquis Buffon has fled into the Gamorden Peaks. The Grey Wardens remain in high spirits. They seem proud of this opportunity to redeem their name in good faith, and losses so far have been light. It's an honor to fight beside them. Excellent. So, Liliana is supposed to be next again. Ooh, pursue Marquis Buffon. Inquisitor, with her treachery revealed, Marquis... Oh, no. Ephaloche? Ephaloche? Buffon has fled into the mountains. Our initial efforts to pursue her have been hampered by both the terrain and the presence of demons in the area, but we have had difficulty making headway. The Ray Wardens seem have... Have you had any trouble with them? Not at all. I will inform you if that changes. While we have had difficulty making headway, the Grey Wardens seem to have offered to assist. They seem to be the only force in the area capable of doing so. Regardless, I believe it is worth pursuing Marquis Buffon if we have the means to do so. So next on the list is Liliana again, who says Marquis Buffon may have enemies along the nobles in the area. Some of them may have information on the safe passes through the mountains. So we will send her. Let's see what we have. Okay, then we have Truth or Dare like Celestine. Madame Ambassador, I would be honored to accept your invitation. I shall make arrangements to pay the Inquisition to visit. Presently, I have been most curious to see your organization for myself. Was that important? I have no idea. 
So, I want to do... Uh, Sutherland has a quest? Somewhere? A crew of adventurers. Sutherland's company have made a request for further expeditions to bluster the Inquisition's forces. He seems driven to match the investment made in the group thus far. The goal is rambling, but has potential. A, f uh, a small group certainly is better suited to ferreting out whatever misplaced city, horror-filled <laughs> tomb, or borderland he's looking, looking to scout. Um... Well, Liliana is the fastest. Well, let's do Josephine, because she's free. They'll have passage where they need it. The rest is rightfully up to them. Inquisitor. That may or may not be very helpful, but that's all right. Uh... Oh, I wonder who's still on a mission. Is Cullen still on a mission? Oh, he is. Okay, that's all right. Good. Okay, so let's see if Cullen has anything new to say. Oh, Vivian approves. How unexpected. Inquisitor. Oh, this was the long way. Oh, there's Solus. Well, let's talk to him as well. Sleep well? I've never done anything like that before. Do you regularly talk to people in dreams? No. Consider that one more rule you have effortlessly broken in your rise to power. I had no idea that the Anchor would allow you to dream with such focus. It is truly remarkable. But I am reasonably certain we are awake now. And if you wish to discuss anything, I would enjoy talking. What do you know about the Fade? What would you like to know? Well, not really anything, but we'll do one. I'd like to know more about the Veil. Circle mages call it a barrier between this world and the Fade. But according to my studies in ancient elven lore, that is a vast oversimplification. Without it, imagine if spirits entered freely. The Fade was not a place one went, but a state of nature like the wind. Imagine if some idiot decided he wanted to pull the veil down because he got cranky one day. Solus. <clears throat> it sounds like it would be wonderful. It's not wonderful. And dangerous. But yes, a world where imagination defines reality. Where spirits are as common as trees or grass. Instead, spirits are strange and fearful. And the Fade is a terrifying world touched only by mages and dreamers. I am glad that I'm not alone in seeing the beauty of such a world, along with the obvious peril. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Solus. <sighs> oh, 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 he's sitting down. Oh, he has a quest. I don't want to do it right now, though. <laughs> Maybe I'll just save that for after the graves. I wanted to thank you. When you came to see me, if there's anything... This sounded much better in my head. I trust you're feeling better? I... yes. Is it always that bad? The pain comes and goes. Sometimes I feel as if I'm back there. I should not have pushed myself so far that day. I'm just glad you're all right. I am. I've never told anyone what truly happened to me at Ferelden's Circle. I was... not myself after that. I was angry. For years, that anger blinded me. I'm not proud of the man that made me. The way I saw mages, I'm not sure I would have cared about you. The thought of that sickens me. Now I can put some distance between myself and everything that happened. It's a start. For what it's worth, 
I like who you are now. Even after? Cullen, I care about you. You've done nothing to change that. What about you? You have troubles of your own. How are you holding up? Honestly, I'm terrified. So many people depend on us, on me. Corypheus is still out there. We've made great strides. Do not doubt yourself, or the Inquisition, just yet. If there's anything I can do, you have only to ask. Oops. Oh, I see where I am. Let's go see if he has anything else to say before we leave. There you are. Were you waiting for me? Yes. I mean, no. I can come back later if you'd prefer. No. Uh, please stay. We have some dealings in Ferelden. I was hoping you might accompany me. When you can spare the time, of course. Is something wrong? What? No. I, I would rather explain there, if you wish to go. I believe there's time now. I will make the necessary arrangements. Where are we? You walk into danger every day. I wanted to take you away from that, if only for a moment. I grew up not far from here. This place was always quiet. Did you come here often? I loved my siblings, but they were very loud. I would come here to clear my head. Of course, they always found me eventually. You were happy here. I was. I still am. It's beautiful. The last time I was here was the day I left for Templar training. My brother gave me this. <laughs> it just happened to be in his pocket, but he said it was for luck. Templars are not supposed to carry such things. Our faith should see us through. A little luck can't hurt every now and then. I suppose not. I should have died during the Blight. Or at Kirkwall, or Haven. Take your pick. And yet, I made it back here. Humor me. We don't know what you'll face before the end. This can't hurt. I'll keep it safe. Good. I know it's foolish, but... I'm glad. That was really, really sweet. <gasps> I really love Cullen's romance. Okay, I don't need to run back inside. I do, I lied. I have to go to the war table. <laughs> uh. mm. Inquisitor. So let's do, yeah, let's do the Emerald Graves for a while and then maybe we can talk to some people. I do like to try and spread out some of the cutscenes if I can anticipate they're coming, but there's really no indication, so. Okay, where is it? This. Yeah, there it is. Make contact in the Emerald Graves. We've been contacted by a Fairbanks, who says he has information of value to the Inquisition. He offers a trade, the information in exchange for the Inquisition's help in eliminating a dangerous rebel band calling themselves the Freemen of the Dales. There have been reported sightings of these rebels all over the Dales, where they have caused significant trouble or significant problems for Elysian troops. Uprooting them could be a good move for us. First, let's see what Fairbanks has to say. He is hiding out somewhere in the Emerald Graves, a legendary Dalish forest. My spies report that he is well acquainted with the area and its terrain. He could prove a useful asset if we choose to use him. So the only one who can go is Liliana, who says, at your word, I'll send emissaries to meet with Fairbanks along with hidden agents to watch him. 
Lead Scout Harding made con Oh, she's Lead Scout Harding. Was she always Lead Scout Harding? Or did she get a uh, upgrade? Upgrade? Promotion. Words are hard. <laughs> Lead Scout Harding made contact with Fairbanks and his men in the Emerald Graves and had a run-in with the Rebel Freemen of the Dales. They are as violent as we've been led to believe. As for Fairbanks, Harding was unable to coax much from him. He will only share what he knows with the Herald of Andraste, it seems. Fairbanks is holding his information close to his chest. I wonder if it might relate to something bigger than just the Freeman of the Dales. If there's a chance at all, then we must learn what we can from him. Harding has set up an outpost in the Emerald Graves. Be careful, Inquisitor. The forest of the graves is treacherous and home to enemies, both new and ancient. Let's go. So I'm going to do... Dorian and Iron Bull for a little while. So they will get in a relationship if you have not... Been in a, if you're not in a relationship with either of them and you're in a committed relationship with someone else, which I think I am after that scene with Colin, which is good. So that is, I need a rogue. Mm, let's bring Sarah. Good to see you again, Inquisitor. Hope you've got your comfortable boots on. The scouts have seen a number of fade rifts all over the forest. We've located this mysterious... Fairbanks. He won't share his information with anyone but you. He and his men are camped out at Watcher's Reach, on the path ahead. From what we can tell, they're refugees from the war. Peasants, mostly. Tell me everything you know about Fairbanks. We don't know much about him. He appeared after the Civil War started, helping people fleeing from the destruction. Fairbanks is likely not his real name. Do you know anything else about the region? They call this place the Emerald Graves. Legend says that a tree grows here for every elven knight of Halam Sharal who perished in its defense. Makes you sad, doesn't it? What was done to the elves here was unforgivable. Never again. At least I hope not. Thank you for the information. I'll head out. Oh, uh, one other thing. A group of deserters from the Imperial Armies has established itself here. Freemen of the Dales, they call themselves. They are hostile to the Inquisition. And everyone else. Watch your back, Inquisitor. Alright, so what I might do then is just keep uh, Dorian and Iron Bull in my party for a little while, but cycle the third person through. Another wolf statue. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's one in Trespasser that spins around the room to stare at you the entire time. And I don't know if it's supposed to or if it's a glitch, but that one's a little creepy. Okay, let me save. It's been a little while. And see where we are. There's the exit. And... Ooh, a lot of things. So I know that there's the letters I'm supposed to get for Cullen's quest. There's the primeval red lyrium for Barrack's quest. And there's something for Cassandra's. Did I have to get some... Yes, some of the seeker things I have to hunt down. Okay. Exciting times. Is there anything around here? That's not just the usual tent stuff letters or treasures or anything. Everybody. Ask them if they want arrows, or maybe tell them. <laughs> Everybody being on fire. Well, a little bit alarming. Effective, though. What is that? Well, that is a nug. 
It's a brown nug. I thought they only came in pink. Uh, where was I going? I'm already lost. Let's go do, yeah, let's do Fairbanks quest. Maybe I can make that my main one. There we go. At some point, I really need to make some new equipment for myself as well. Oh. Oh, I see. Although maybe I'll wait till after I do on Prix de Leon. There's a lot of new things there that I could get as well. And I do want to do dragon hunting eventually, but we'll have to see. There's so many things I want to do. I do wonder how many episodes this is going to end up being. Easily a hundred. Oh, let me grab these. It's about, yeah, easily a hundred, especially with all the uh, expansions I want to do too. Hello? Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to just shove you out of the way. Don't think I need this rash vein. Rash vine? It is an honor to meet the Herald of Andraste. You're too kind. As much as I admire you, however, I did not reach out to the Inquisition just for this. As my missive stated, we can help each other. You have encountered the Freemen. Aggressive bastards, no? They've killed a dozen of my people. We've tried to fight, but we cannot match their strength. You can. Why should you care about this, you ask? Because the Freemen are colluding with your enemy. Which enemy do you mean? The rogue Templars. I've seen them through the woods, heading for the Freeman bases, leaving with crates. Destroy the Freeman, and they'll lead you straight to the Red Templars. This, I promise. I'll look into this, Fairbanks. All my information about the Freeman is right here, in our camp. Help us, and everything I know about the Dales, about these woods, I will share with the Inquisition. So Fairbanks' big secret is that he's actually a nobleman. And you have a choice to either destroy the evidence of his noble birth or, like, expose him. And it, I don't know. I was never really satisfied with that particular plot line because it always feels like it's leading up to be this big deal, but then nothing happens. So I think he doesn't want to be a noble. So I think this time around I will not make him a noble. I've done both. Don't really have a preference to the plot because, like I said, it just doesn't really matter all that much. At least I never felt like it matters. Maybe it does to those who really care a lot about the lore. Watch your tongue. Ah. But I think either way we recruit him and he comes to Skyhold. Although now I don't know. Maybe he, I know he comes if you make him a noble. But he's really unhappy with you. <laughs> Understandable. Okay. Ooh. Should I take damage? I don't know. That's actually funny. What is... Are there any of these quests? I want to make sure I do read those. Story page. Examine all the documents. We don't really care too much about those. I'm too old to be living in a Oh. There's a thingy in here. There is a quest. I've no good news today, my friend. Oh, par pardon me, sorry. I can't believe he's making us hide out here like mice. Map of Watchers Pass. Damned Fairbanks and his concern for everyone. Well, he doesn't want you to die. I don't want to talk right now. 
Maybe later. Good day to you. Well, if this is here, there must be a thingamajig. Funny. We're in the Dales, and I haven't seen any Dalish. Aren't... aren't you Dalish? The way this game auto-generates some, uh, conversations can be hilarious. Uh, well, maybe. I don't see the thingamajig, that's okay. Can't believe the Inquisition's here. I can't believe it either. Don't remember how to drop things, though. You. Pardon me. I need that weird deep mushroom. Oh, wait. There. Alright, so where to go? That's the red lyrium. There's a logging stand. There's a rift. Oh yeah, let's get the logging stand. I don't think there's a whole lot on the bottom end of the map. Because it gets a little wider at the top. Okie doke. This way. And at some point, there's that river that we can cross that has the giants and the giant bears. Incorrect, sir. I'm here to ruin your day. Take over the tails. Alright, I didn't change any of Dorian's things. That's okay. Hopefully it won't be super irritating. Oh! Oh! I don't want to attack you! Why are we attacking you? You can run away. Was oh, okay, just some materials. Oh, is this the river ahead of us? Why? Oh, we are fighting it. Okay, good. Nope. There we go. Good, good, good. Sometimes the animals just don't leave, so you can't ever get out of combat. <laughs> the brown nugs look like rabbits. Hello, friends. Goodbye, friends. She's got a bunch of... I think this is the place where she's got a bunch of people in the caves. Being a terrible slaver who needs to die. Things are now more or less at my level. So I have to actually pay attention. What are we attacking? Oh!
I broke the crate. That's funny. Where are they? You really believe all this undrafted stuff, Sarah? Well, sure, right? Then you support the Templars and their treatment of the Circle, or that? That's not Andraste. That's Chantry. Then you don't support the Chantry. Of course I do. All right. So, you support the Chantry except for the things that it... does, and this makes sense to you? Is it supposed to? It's belief, isn't it? Why did you have a nice conversation? In the middle of a fight, where it was harder to hear you. That just seems rude. Anywho, let's see. Which one of these are quests? Are you a quest? You're not a quest. You are. With no words, you're a map. From Sister Costo. Hugh, yes, I know what Duheim thinks about the people in Watcher's Reach. He's wrong. The refugees think us monsters, all because of Duheim and his like. If they get in the way, I suppose you must eliminate them. But we will not hunt them, we will not murder them unless they force our hand. I hope you understand. You're still kind of awful. Just, you know, putting that out there. Any else? Oh, mosaic piece. I wonder, can I see how many mosaics I've completed? I don't think it's in here. Hmm. Is it? I wonder where the mosaics are recorded. In the codex? Hmm. I'll have to investigate that sometime. Invasion is the name of the quest. Yeah. These those are alphabetical places. Hmm, I will have to look into that, because now I'm very curious. I wonder what's in tails. You have it. Please, please open the door. I can't stand it in here another second. Sorry, I made you wait too long. It was rude. Ooh, Viridium is a nice green ore. I wonder who wants to be in green. Okay, I think that is everything in here. Oh, no, ah. Oh. Some red lyrium. Okay. Well, that's this cave. Good. Put that there. I think if we go out this way, that will take us there. I do really love the Emerald Graves. It's such a beautiful scenic area. And it has some nice villas. And it has, well, giants, which are terrible, but you know. a lot of trouble there's this little bridge to our right after I'm done collecting everything which you can go across and there's treasure on the other end I think I remember I used to have a lot of trouble because everyone would knock me off the map however I also forgot that I could just get everyone to hold their position so it was oh was that a quest hopefully not don't push me off okay so everyone come over here Okay, 
should all stay there. Doesn't look like staying at all. <laughs> okay. Oh, good. You didn't follow me. Oh, can I get back? Oh. Ho, ho. Maybe if I go here, I will come to myself. Oh. Where did I go? Oh good, I'm right here. Perfect. So how do I remove the hold as H again? I think. Oh. Work. And Torian is maybe following. Let's go a little further and see if he comes. He did not. Hello! Nope. Clear commands. Well. Okay, so that is where Thug is. Before the dawn is over here. Now, do I have to defeat people for those? What is that? Uh, intercepting caravans. So there's probably some red Templars then. I would think. like a caravan and lyrium smugglers excellent a note it claims this red lyrium's not coming from the deep roads well that's probably a problem uh, oh, is that the first start of that quest that's really creepy? I want to know. I don't want to get- you know what? I don't want to get too far away just yet. So let's run back. To that little villa. And we'll find the vicious thug. So beautiful in here though, like look at this. That's a place I'd like to visit. And you know, hopefully minus the Red Templars. Would like the nugs and the deer though. Just beautiful Orlesian stuff. Hmm. 
Ooh, we're going through potions pretty quickly. Oh, you're not dead yet. <laughs> Were we after them? I think we were. <laughs> now, what is this place? Is this a creepy place? Oh, I don't want to open it yet. It's a cave. A cave to where? I feel like that's the creepy place. No, that's not the creepy place. I don't know, but we're not going to do it today. <laughs> I will save all of the Freeman orders. Did you hear? Sister Cost... Custo has fallen. I'm surprised it took so long. She was soft, unfortunately. We also lost the rats we were going to send to Suladin. We'll have to make sure this doesn't happen again. Suladin is in... Um, Prix de Leon, I think? Okay, let's go explore this little area first, and then we'll go back down and grab all our loot. Ooh, there's a red lyrium. Is here. There you are. Can we get in this little house? Hut? Cabin? Oh, what'd you call this? Outhouse? <laughs> ah. We need. Sarah, go. Back to my treasures. Actually, let me make a quick note. What is this place? I don't think this is the creepy one. Did I forget that there were two? Villa Morel. There, I'll have to Google that later. Glittering key. What do we do with the glittering key, I wonder? in high town. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's a good idea. Let's get that camp. That is this way. Is there an exit out here? Nope, we gotta climb up this way. Oh, maybe not. Can I jump over? That feels unlikely. No. Okay. Gotta go the long way. Probably, oh, I wonder, maybe up here? A corrupt general. Well, that's definitely not. It's over here. Indulge me, Sarah. What do you think of when I say demon? Arrows. Fine. Magister? Arrows. Not helpful, but given our history, I'll accept it. <laughs> Formaturgy. What? Magical endeavors. Helpful wonders. Oh, arrows. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Iron Bull, Dorian, you've both spoken to Sarah. Now you have to talk to each other. It's really important. How will your love start if you don't even acknowledge each other? Hmm?
Okay, where am I heading again? Okay. Wonder if I could have jumped out on the other side of the fence. Maybe I'll spend one episode doing both of the villas? I don't remember how long that other one is. I remember nothing. Yeah. 15. We can do that. Oh, 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 no, no. Go attack the iron bow. Or they attack me. Ooh, just barely. Ooh. A rage demon almost made it to hit me before I managed to interrupt it. Woohoo! That there's that little Easter egg in here as well, that tiny little cave where if you jump on it a lot of times, it tells you to bring it Crystal Grace, yeah. And then it gives you a flower crown. I forgot about that. But that is near the place with the bears, I do believe. Find my map on the marker. Marker on the map, map on the marker. You know, one of those for sure. I think I'm maybe getting closer. Or am I getting farther away? It's a great question. Is it up on this rock? Can I climb this rock? What oh, is up here? And maybe. Excellent, excellent. This way? No. Here we go. Let's see if there's any treasure first. No, no treasure. Only campground. Okay, I'm gonna save again. It's been a little while. And I saw that rift. Let's do that. Seventeen. Oh, 
down. That was definitely a little trickier than I anticipated. Other things around. No. Okay. What's this one? A deluded chevalier. Argon's Lodge. Another before the dawn. I don't want to do that. Let's do this. And maybe that. Right, this whole thing. Yeah, we've got time to take care of this. There's quite a lot of things there to do in here, here, if I recall. Treasures to find and whatnot. Hello. All of them. All of them appeared. Let's do this, just because why not? And that. Ah, that's fun. Definitely overkill, but still satisfying. Aw, oh, dang, there's more of them. <laughs> That really was fun. Okay, first let's loot all these and then we'll go into the weaker building. Don't want to go in there. Oh, too late. I got too close. No, maybe not. You know what? Maybe not. More in here. Did I not just come from in there? Oh, maybe not. Where's Sarah? Oh, there she is. Ah! <laughs> what one did I just do? Oh, I did this. Flask of fire. Scared myself. Move, you're not moving, thank you. Okay, I don't think there's anywhere else that has loot. No. Let's make sure I didn't miss some down here before I go in. Oh, I did a little bit. And then we'll do the main building. I wonder why Dorian stands still so much. He doesn't really like to follow me around. I wonder if it's because of that amulet that keeps him invisible. Alright, now I'm ready.
That's one way to solve the problem. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to hit it until it dies. In video games. Never in real life. When you were in the Fade... Shut. It. I only meant to ask if... Shut it, shut it, shut it! <laughs> okay, let's explore a little bit now that I found that. Maybe I can find some treasures. I want there to be. Give me treasures. Although maybe there are not as many as I thought there were. Ooh, there are not very many treasures. Lots of doors to open though. Talk to someone about that. No? Freeman should move in. Somehow, though. Where is the quest line? There we go. Enter the villa. Close some rifts, close some rifts. Camps. Oh! Well, I don't know when they move in. But, let's see. Going to travel just back to that camp there. Didn't mean to put that. All right, I think I'm going to call it an episode for today. It's actually a little bit shorter than usual, which I wouldn't have thought, but I don't particularly want to do much more exploring because I'd rather have a lot of time to sink into it. But let's see, where are we going? So this camp up here, Rifts. And rifts, lots of rifts for the dawn. I feel like we are getting very close to the river, which might just be where this border is on the map here, actually. But I'm not, or this could also be it over here. Is this maybe the river I'm thinking of? I don't know now, but there's a fair bit left to do. We're gonna have a lot of exploring. And I do have to, at some point, do the Storm Coast as well, because apparently I've missed a whole lot there. Anyways, thank you for watching today. Oh, let me just hit the wrong button before I go. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for watching. I will probably be right back here again at the start of the next episode. See you all then. Goodbye.